Uh, hi everybody. My name is uh, Gilbert Munyemana. I work for the National University of Rwanda in the Center for Instruction Technology. Um, now sitting in my office, uh, but I would like to share with you presentation two tool, which is a tool that I come across in the forum where we share our experiences with other educational technologists, uh, educational technologists uh, at uh, my university. Um, and this presentation tube I want to present to you is the tool that I have used to create this presentation. Uh, this kind of presentation recording and making uh, this kind of educational materials is not new. Uh, I remember when I was discussing with uh, my rector when he was doing his studies in England, like in the 70s, they were using podcasts and so on. But uh, this kind of material, learning material uh, that you're going to create uh, through presentation too, these are the material which doesn't really require any other knowledge. With the tool that we are having here, anyone can create learning material without any priori knowledge in ICT and everything. Uh, before we start, I think it's better that we understand the advantages of having this kind of materials. I've prepared a presentation that I'm going to record through the tool that I'm going to present to you. Uh, so I've called it a Z way to create multimedia based learning material with presentation too. I've already introduced myself. My name is Gilbert Munyemana. I work for the Center for Instruction Technology, National University of Rwanda. And uh, before we start, because I've mentioned the multimedia, we may ask ourselves what is a multimedia. Multimedia as defined by Mao Neo from Marisia. It's a combination of various digital media type, such as text, images, sound, and video, into an integrated multisensory and interactive application or another presentation, which has the purpose to convey a message or another information to a specific audience. Now, in education, the multimedia in education, uh, like the services which are related to multimedia, like the one that we are having at the National University of Rwanda in the Center for Instruction Technology, it consists on producing computer-based training courses. Those are the courses which integrate this kind of different information format to convey an educational message to present it to the students. Uh, now here are some benefits of multimedia based learning. As uh, summarized by Shepard, the first of all is an alternative perspective. Uh, it helps in active participation because someone is really uh, following, is, uh, is uh, I mean engaging with the material that you have given to him and then he can just we learn, we learn until he's tired, or just until he understands or she understands. Uh, it helps in accelerated learning. It helps in accelerated learning because it's a, something, it's a classroom that you're going with that you can just activate whenever you want. And it helps retention and application of knowledge because we know that whenever just we are learning and then we are hearing and then we are watching what really someone is explaining, it becomes easier, easier than only reading. Uh, it helps in problem solving and decision making skill because some of the multimedia based learning materials, they have got kind of questions that someone can interact with. They are different exercises which improves this problem-solving ability. 
they have the system understanding because you have the whole system explained maybe like in biology or something else it's easier to learn through the multimedia based learning uh, than uh, the text one or the only image without voice without interaction high order thinking is another thing that a well designed multimedia based learning can help in autonomy and focus because you are the one who decides when to start and to stop control over pacing and sequencing of information either you are quicker or slow learner it's up to you it's on your pace that you learn access to support information because like if, if the materials were designed you have the support to that information you can just click on something and then you get more information uh, as a summary i can say that a well designed multimedia helps learners to build more accurate and effectively mental models that they do from the text alone uh, that have been explained before so okay all these uh, different kind of uh, benefits i've got it from this website now the question is how can we create an effective multimedia learning material with less effort presentation tube is one of the easiest way let's see how it looks like how does it work multimedia material creation with a um, presentation tube the first thing that you have to do you have to prepare your presentation you need to have a computer with a webcam if you want your image as now you can see me I'm just talking to you I uh, just clicked on cam on the computer and then I can go back to my slides without any problem so you need to have a computer you need to have a computer with a webcam and then uh, you can just you will be able to to write some text like now if I click on text I can say hi everybody or just give any other information saying that you can just find the presentation tube on this website dot net you can draw something you can just maybe you say it's something which looks like this what it is maybe you want to ask someone what it is if it's a triangle not where it is I mean drawed but fine uh, you can also go to the web because if I click on the web you can see that here I can just write I can search presentation tube so if you're demonstrating something on uh, on uh, internet you can just use this tool uh, my internet seems to be very very slow okay but just you have to type what you're looking for on the left side of the software uh, I'll show you where it is uh okay where to get it the presentation tube tool as i told you is a is a software that can be used freely for educational and personal activities and can be downloaded from this website and can be easily stored on your pc uh i think we can just have a look how it looks like let me just try to go again on the internet dot presentation tube dot com dot net I mean okay this is the website if you go to the website that I have mentioned I mean this website presentation tube dot net uh, you will be able to see this website and then on this website uh, when you you will read the information and everything and then when you click on record 
you will see where you can download you can download scroll down you can download this is the download you're gonna have the zip you have to unzip and install it after installing it uh, you will have this kind of screen this is the screenshot of this one so this is the environment that I'm working in uh, and then it's easy whenever you have installed it and then you double click on the icon which is on your desktop you have this kind of screen the first thing you have to do you have to load your PowerPoint by clicking on this open and uh, you can just have yeah you, when you have your presentation on you can switch between the slides and then the cam the camera because if I click on the camera like this you can see me talking but if I click on slides you will see the slides that I'm making oh don't be confused because here yeah, there's a screenshot that I've taken of myself but look I can just navigate through my my presentation you can look at the text you can click on draw you can click on the web you switch as easy as uh, you want um, now okay where am I on the presentation so if you want to start recording after uploading your PowerPoint you will have to click on record to start recording whenever you want to show the slide you click on slide on text and so on and then you can stop so navigating through the PowerPoint you have to use this next previous button so that you can navigate through different PowerPoint um, next is okay the PowerPoint will look like this this is the PowerPoint that I've uploaded as an example it was one of the presentation I had on creation of online university in a regional conference on educational instruction technology which was held in Rwanda uh, now what are the advantages of presentation to there are a lot there are many but just to mention a few this easy presentation recording for lecturers and students with this we can just most of our lecturers will be able to make their multimedia based learning material and then students can just learn easily and at their own pace uh, the video sharing uh, here I'm not going to show you how you can upload but if you go to the website that I've mentioned this presentation tube.net you will be able you will be able to see how you can just upload it and share with your friends uh, there's this video streaming yeah that's what I was saying and then uh, there are many other advantages that you're going to find the only thing that I can say now we can use this material this uh, tool to create different learning materials for our students for even our colleagues if you are students uh, the only thing I can tell you enjoy your fruits the fruits of the presentation tube and uh, thank you for your attention for more details please feel free to contact me on my gmail account or for through my university account gmunyeman at gmail.com and uh, at nual.ac.rw thank you very much enjoy the presentation tube and then see you later